Cyrus, what was kind of the biggest thing you uh, were trying to work on in the summer? Um, I think every year pass rush is just something you got to get better at. So that was like one of my main focuses, but also it's technique, just technique in the footwork. Stopping the run is the biggest thing. You can't if you can't stop the run, you can't pass rush. So that was that was my main main focus. Obviously, I'm trying to get better at pass rush every single year, and I think I can only elevate my pass rush every year. But like I said, it was my footwork, so I can be very dominant in the run game. Because uh, you know, stopping the run is my main priority right now. So you're a 78 in the most recent or the newest college football 25 game. Is that right or not happy with it? Uh, for right now. I'm okay with it, but uh, we'll, we'll give it to the season, and then we'll see see how it goes up, you know. Uh, facing O lineman at WSC versus Utah Tech, what are some of those you know differences? Um, I don't know. I mean, we could say practice wise, you know, it's very, I mean FCS, FBS, very different speed of practice. Everything's different, but I. Th know for a fact the biggest difference here is just everybody wants it there's no there's not one guy that is like hey let's get through the day these guys are freaking pushing every single day they're trying to become the best version of themselves every single day and we preach best so that's that's what everyone's trying to get towards every single day is just be their best and i know for a fact that we're not coming out here trying to just get through days we're trying to excel and get better every single day so that's one of the biggest things is every time i line up against big essa you know there's, that, there's no doubt in my mind that he's not giving me his best, so. How'd you spend the summer and, and why was that important to you? I spent the summer right here in Pullman grinding. That was that was my, my life every single day. You know, I, like I was talking about before, just trying to get better at my fundamentals, trying to master those, the um, technique things. Those are just the main things. You can't be a great player if you don't master the fundamentals, the technique. So that was my main thing. I'm just here all day. I know my wife doesn't like it that I'm here all day, but you know, that's that's the that's what I signed up for. That's what she signed up for as well. So it's the biggest thing is just being here all day, being with the guys, doing things outside of football with them as well, and just building the camaraderie and you know, just being a good teammate as well. What do you what do you like to do when you're not doing football stuff? Man, what do I like to do? I don't know. I, I, outside of football, I don't really have uh, I don't really have like a, f a fun life, I guess. I, I like to go home, spend time with my wife. I like to go out to eat sometimes with my wife. I mean, anytime I'm not here at football, I'm spending time with my wife. So that's, I don't, I don't really have any outside hobbies, so. Feels like everyone has a different answer, but to you, is the first day of actual camp still a big deal or do you do so much grinding over the summer where it just kind of feels like another day? Uh, both, I, th I think. It is just another day because we've put in the work. We've, we we understand what our goal is. Everybody knows why we're out here. I don't think there's a, oh, here comes the big day. You know, like t today, like you said, it's just another day for us, but there's a different mindset. There's a different kind of approach you got to bring into the first day. And it's just building up to the full pads day. It's it's building up to, obviously we have a game of what, 31 days, like we're, we're, we're right there. It's, it's there's no uh, hiding. It's it's coming up and uh, so yeah it, it is another day for us but like I said it's the mindset and the approach we got to bring on the first day. How big is it for the defense to capitalize on this time as you're bringing in some new faces with some returners? It's really big and like I said it's it's a lot about camaraderie I, I don't think anyone's just gonna become a different player when game time comes it's what we have been doing it, it, like everything that's in the summer everything that happened in the spring the winter it's gonna come to light when the season comes so I don't think we're gonna have some magical guy who's like amazing when she when the first game comes it's just building that and, and we know who we're gonna be able to trust we're not we know who's gonna be there for us and it's the biggest thing it's it's a process you don't just show up the first day and you're great so you mentioned it uh, just earlier there um you know you've been training since the winter but now you got exactly a month before the first game yeah. how do you sort of pace yourself throughout camp and getting to there making sure you are healthy you are at 100 percent i think in my mind i don't there is a sort of pacing yourself but just absorbing every single day and living in the moment i know it's my last it's my last year last last year of college and i'm trying to absorb every single moment just be in the moment with the guys obviously i want to be healthy obviously i want to have an amazing year this year but it's just about being in the moment i'm i'm trying to be in the facility as much as i can do as much as i can because i know i won't get these times back i know that i can't come and play in a, another year here you know it's this is final year i can either live it up now or regret it in the future. So I think that's, that's my biggest thing right now is just be in the moment, focus on what I'm doing, and every single rep I get, just get my 100 in it, so. 
going up against Coach Arbuckle's offense. Just how does that compare to what you've seen in college football? And, and what's it like going up against this offense every day? It's definitely different. It's uh, a lot of moving parts. Uh, a lot of stuff is moving and you're never going to be in one spot in that offense. You know, you, you think it's split zone and then something else is coming at you. It's it's very, very interesting offense, but it's it's going to be very difficult for defenses to play against that offense as well. So um, it's good for me to play against it right now because I can see the fast moving parts and kind of play against, I think, one of the hardest offenses to play against. So it's, it, it, it's good for me for right now.